Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today we have my most recent Sephora haul. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love haul videos and you want me to keep doing them because I'd be happy to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Some of these items were purchased during Sephora's Beauty Insider Appreciation Week, and some of these items were purchased recently when they kicked off their massive end of summer sale. So I've been holding on to quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. The first thing I want to show you guys is the new YSL limited edition Rouge Pure Couture Kiss and Love Edition. It's like a limited edition lipstick that they released five shades. So the packaging looks like that. I got all of the shades because I wanted to see them in real life and I also wanted to test them out and see how they were. So what really excited me was the texture on this lipstick. I love textured lipsticks like how Kat Von D has her logo. This one has little kiss marks. So pretty. So the one I just showed you is number 13, which is the orange shade. What's nice is that the closure, it's not necessarily magnetic, it doesn't automatically close, but it's a very, very, very snug fit. It's not gonna come off in your purse, which is really great. The next color I'm gonna show you is number one, which is the red color. Haven't tried this one yet. And this one is number 70. This is like the nude shade. This one's number 19. This one is the fuchsia shade. I have worn this one already a few times and I've worn it in a couple of videos. It's incredible. It's the most bizarre lipstick I've ever worn. When you're applying it, it seems like, whoa, this is really creamy, this is gonna bleed. It feels kind of like you're applying a lip balm, but it's so pigmented and so vibrant and amazing. Cause I mean, I got them and I was like, you know what, I'll look at the colors, I'll swatch them, I'll see, and then I'll probably just keep one of them. But the formula is so amazing and the smell, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like vanilla. It smells just like fruity. Those were the original releases and then they released a shade recently which is number 71 and this one's a black red which I don't know to me it looks more like a brick red. I'm a sucker for textured lipstick and cute packaging. This is why I don't like to try really expensive stuff. Like this is why I drink really cheap wine because I don't want to have to get used to the expensive stuff and then one day when I can't afford the expensive stuff I get grossed out by the cheap stuff. Like I like to stick with the cheap stuff. But once I tried that lipstick I was like done. You guys know how much I love a vibrant pink. I also picked up one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. This is called Fanny. It's that really beautiful, like dark bluish pink that I love. And it's just black sleek and it's got a magnetic closure. So it's really, really gonna stick together. I actually also got the color Live, which is a really dark, I think it's like an aubergine color. And when it arrived, it was all full of condensation and all, it was all bubbly. And you know, I understand it's summer, it's hot outside. The UPS guy has got all these packages in his truck. I doubt it's air conditioned in the back where they have all the stuff. Yeah, it's just, what happens when you live in South Florida? I actually realized that you can get rid of the condensation really easily if you stick them in the fridge immediately, but sometimes it just doesn't go away. So I'm just gonna go and exchange it. I also got another of the Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick. This is Femme Fatale Matte. I have a couple of the other shades and I really, really love them, especially the Punch Drunk Matte. So this is just a like dark purpley eggplant color. It's not magnetic, but it's got a super, super snug closure, which I like. You guys know how much I go crazy over how it closes so it doesn't spill and get gross on your purse. I got two more of the Ardency In lipsticks. I love Ardency In lipsticks. They're amazing. They're pricey, but they're really, really great quality and they have some amazing colors. This one is called Forward. It's a really pretty purplish pink. I really, really enjoy the formula. It's amazing. And the lipsticks are kind of like small, they're small little bullets, so they're great for like when you go out and stuff. And it is magnetic closure. This next one, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna keep it. It was advertised as a blue red, but to me it looks a little more brick red. And this is called Love Cat. I think on camera it's still, it's looking like a blue red, but in real life it really looks like a brick red to me. And I'm not a huge fan of the brick red color. I also got one of the Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primers. This is Great Pop. I've had a few of these in my loves list for a while. It's just like a purpley. 
and I figured since you're getting bonus points, like it was a good time to try it. It doesn't have a magnetic closure, but it is kind of very, very tight, like the Smashbox one. I don't know, it had really good reviews. How I kind of range what I get and what I want to try out. Obviously first, items that are new, items that have really unique colors that I want to try. And then I also take into consideration the reviews, especially a product like that that's been out for a little while. The reviews are really important. And now Sephora in the review section, when you write a review, you have to say whether or not you got the product for free. So really the disclosure really helps to figure out whether or not you're going to believe a particular review. I also got a few Burberry lipsticks. So I don't own anything from Burberry, like not even a scarf, nothing. I have no interest in Burberry at all. But there was a really interesting color that came out that, that intrigued me and made me want to like get it and try it. So then I was like, to give an honest look at the particular lipsticks, I always like to get like three or four just so I can try out a few different shades and give kind of a mini review on, you know, the line. So this is one of their Burberry Kisses Hydrating Lip Colors and it's called Nude Cashmere. So the packaging looks like this. It's a magnetic closure and like if you put it in the wrong side, it doesn't like it, it twists. <laughs> so look at this color. It's called Nude Cashmere. It's like a grayish taupey nude. I have never seen anything like this. Plus the textured lipstick, that's how they got me. Such a sucker for that. So I did get three other colors. I got two of the Burberry Kisses, which is the hydrating lip color, and then I got two of the Lip Velvets, which are the long-lasting matte lip colors. So let me show you the other Burberry Kisses one I got. This one is called Garnet. It's a really, really pretty, like, reddish, dark reddish brownish color. And then you can tell the difference between the Burberry Kisses and the Lip Velvet is because the Lip Velvet, the packaging, is matte. You see, compared to the shiny, so that's kind of cool. So this is one of the lip velvets. This one is called Oxblood. It's a really dark, like garnet type color. And the last color I got is called Damson. It's a really pretty, like reddish burgundy color. So once again, another pricey lipstick, just like the YSL one. I got a few, I'm gonna try them out, and I will let you guys know if it's worthwhile. Sometimes spending a lot of money on a lipstick is worthwhile, because it's great, and it feels amazing on your lips and whatnot, but sometimes it's just like, not that great, and then it goes back to the store. So all this year, By Beauty's been doing a collaboration with Lip Lab, and they've been doing a limited release every single month. So additionally, starting this August, they had an exclusive, just regular by Beauty lipstick. In August, the color was called Bellini. So I did pick up the full size of it. The packaging just looks like all the other by Beauty packaging. And it's a really beautiful, vibrant pink fuchsia color. This month, the shade is called Mimosa, and it's kind of like a reddish, RNG color. I'm not entirely sure how long that's gonna go for. If you're not interested in picking up the full size but you still wanna try it out, they do have small little 250 point sets that have a little tiny mirror and it comes with a small version of the lipstick and it comes with a small version of the lip gloss. It's a way that you can try it and own it without having to buy the full size and if you have a lot of points racked up, you can definitely use that. So during their end of summer sale, they had a bunch of the Smashbox Be Legendary lip lacquers on sale. So I got two colors. I got Beat It and Ultraviolet. So this one is Beat It and this one is Ultraviolet. It's definitely most excited about this one because it's purple. It's not a doe foot applicator. It's kind of like in the shape of an eight. It's like a little hourglass. I haven't tried them yet, of course, but I will. They also had the Smashbox with Donald, whoever he is, the Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Eyeliner. So it's their version of the Benefit Their Real Eyeliner. I got the color Sapphire and Plum. They had a bunch of Tarte items on sale, including a lot of brushes. So I didn't want to get too many, especially because a lot of the Tarte brushes are double-sided, and I hate double-ended brushes. So I did get the one called The Buffer. It's a limited edition airbrush finish bamboo foundation brush. So it looks like this. And it's pretty dense for a foundation brush, but I'm excited to try it. They also had a lot of Kat Von D items on sale, and I actually picked up several of them because I planned on doing some giveaways, and also I was gonna resell some of them, and thank God I got a bunch of extras because half of them arrived broken. I don't understand, like, your makeup and beauty website, like, how do you not know that you need to package palettes carefully because they will break. But thankfully, I was able to get at least, you know, the ones for me. So I did get the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Bronzer. This is the shade Shady Business 2. 
So it comes in a little compact like this. It does have a mirror. I'm not entirely sure why they put these on sale. I'm assuming it's because they're discontinuing them, but I don't know why. Probably because she's coming out with new stuff. And mind you, a lot of these items just kind of like popped up on the website for like a hot minute and I was religiously checking so that I could grab some of these items when they were available. And one of them was the Kat Von D Shade Shifter Water Activated Duo Chrome Eyeshadow. And this is called On The Road. This one literally I had to stock for it. Look how crazy that looks. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite Too Faced eyeshadows called Girly. So pretty. I also got the palette Sinner. I just don't know where I put it right now. But that's like the bluish small palette. I have like all the other ones that I've been collecting every single time they put them on sale. They had them on sale last summer and I thought that was like it. They were getting rid of their stock. But then this summer they decided to put them on even deeper discount. I was also able to get my hands on Kat Von D's autograph pencil in Eyegasm. It's not like a mint green. It's more like... Kind of like an algae green. I also got this little set from Makeup Forever. It's called Redefining Red. It's their best-selling red lip duo. And it comes with the Rouge Artist Intense number 43. And it also comes with a lip line perfecter. So basically a clear lip liner. I also got my hands on Laura Mercier's Into the Wild Lookbook Collection. There was like a little fallout in some of the palettes and stuff. They just didn't pack it well. But it was already sold out and it was a good value. So it comes like a little set like this and I won't show you all of them. It's like a little booklet and they're meant to each like kind of stand on their own. It was one of those things that I saw it when it first came out and I was like, that's cute, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. So when it was on sale, I was definitely excited. I also finally made the plunge and got the new Urban Decay blushes. I got four of them just because, like I said, I like to get at least four of the item just to kind of test it out. So the packaging looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. This first one is called Obsessed and it's kind of like a light cool toned pink. And what's interesting to me is that there's no mirror. So bizarre. But it's a magnetic closure packaging and the packaging is amazing. This next color is bittersweet. It's like a purple. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna use this one because I've never used purple blush, but I have a hard time saying no to things that are purple. This next one is Crush. It's kind of a darker pink than the first one. And the last one is Rapture. And this one's really, really dark. It's like a mauve color. But from the reviews, a lot of people said that it was still very, very wearable. And it was one of their favorite shades. That's what a lot of people said. I also got one of the Clinique All About Shadow 8 Pan palettes. The packaging looks like this. I got this because back when I was younger, I used to wear Clinique makeup. But lately, I don't really use it. I don't have anything of it. I just got that one lipstick now. And, you know, I haven't tried any of their palettes. They look nice. And I got Wear Everywhere Blues. Just because I don't have a lot of blue eyeshadow like blues and grays that I've been trying to incorporate more of those. And so I just got one palette. I wanted to see how the formulas are. If it turns out to be good, then I'll get some more and do some reviews on them. I also got the YSL Couture Variation 10 color eye palette. So I got the version Tuxedo. There's another one that I think is a little more neutral. This one's kind of the more bluish black one. And once again, I got it because I'm trying to incorporate more of those colors. This was $95, which is ridiculous. And in the picture, for whatever reason, it seems like it's going to be bigger to me. It's a lot smaller than I expected. I'm not sure that I'm keeping this because until I swatched it I won't really know but it did have really good reviews so that's like the torturous part of it. I'll swatch it and see and I'll definitely let you guys know if I decide to return it which at $95 is very likely. And the last thing that I got which is the most recent thing I got is the Sephora Beautiful Crush Eye Cheek and Lip Makeup Palette. Whoa. The pictures, it did make it look big, but I didn't think it was gonna be this big. This thing is massive. Yeah, it was $49.50, and look how big this thing is. I will definitely be doing a video on this because it's just way too ridiculous not to. I have no idea how I'm gonna swatch all of this on my arms and not have it be like a three hour video. I might have to do it in sections. I don't know, I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this. You know how I love things in heart shape? Look how cute. This is gonna be a good thing. That's my prediction. So that's all I got in my most recent Sephora haul. Let me know what you guys picked up during Beauty Insider Appreciation Week and also during this sale time. I would love to know. Just leave me a comment. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya. My arms are itchy. This dress is itchy.